So now then, it's me, Sausage Sandwich. You might have seen me from my e-bike channel. Anyway, it sent me another box, look. Let's take a look inside, see what they've sent me. Oh, must have upset them somewhere. Anyway, enjoy this, this new ident. <coughs> So the simplest way I can explain the rear motor versus the um, mid motor thing is it's like manual versus automatic. So basically I think a rear motor, rear hub motor is more like driving an automatic car. You don't have to change gear, you can stay in the gear you're in, plug along nicely and nothing happens, it just takes you from A to B. With a mid drive, that's different. So if you stay, tend to stay in the same gear, you're gonna hear lots of banging. I'll put you an example up on the screen now. Same mill, let's go. And that's because you're not in the right gear at the right time. And this puts extra stress on the chain. So while you'll hear lots of things about mid drives having the chain snap, this is down to not being in the right gear at the right time and putting too much torque through that chain at the same time. And that's how they snap. This doesn't happen with a hub drive. Hub drives are completely different. They drive the chain differently. So you can stay in whatever gear you're in, as long as you've got enough battery power and enough torque, don't need to change gear. Cadence sensor versus torque sensor. Now a torque sensor works by giving you the power you need based on the amount of pressure you put into the pedals. It's, that, it's very simple. So mid drive versus hub motor, which is better? Well, for me, I, I consider both of these to be two different animals. The hub motor I consider to be an automatic and a mid drive tends to be more of a manual because you have to be in the right gear at the right time under the right torque settings. Otherwise you're gonna hear a bang it puts a lot of strain on that chain. It, with the hub motor, you can basically ride along all day in the same gear and you're fine. As long as you've got enough torque and a uh, battery power, you're absolutely fine. But mid drives are more complicated, they're more susceptible to issues as well. Um, more moving parts mainly. For me, I'd go for a hub motor. It's like driving around in automatic, it's fine. As long as you've got enough torque and enough battery power, it'll take you wherever you need all day long. If you want to drive an EMTB, you go for the mid drive. You're used to using the gears all the time. You're out for a little bit of adventure. More moving parts, more things to go wrong. And I'll give you an example of this. C CYC, you might have seen their mid drives online. They're susceptible to the magnet stripping. And if you're wondering what the piss take was at the beginning with sausage sandwich or whatever, his name is he removed me from his channel for pointing out that that's why i went with a bbs hd rather than the cyc motor because obviously he got a free cyc cyc motor that he broke and they're not cheap so his was free but he removed me from his channel um because i spoke out about it um so yeah so that's the mid drive versus the hub motor debate um, cadence sensor versus torque sensor. So a cadence sensor, as soon as you start pedaling, pretty much unless you've dialed it in on the display, will give you virtually all your power under whatever circumstance. If you have it in level five, start pedaling, you'll get a level up five all the way through power. Um, if you obviously have it in lower settings, you're just gonna get the max power for that setting. Now a torque sensor relies on you to put torque into the pedal. So as much pressure you put on that pedal, the more battery power it will drain. So these are better for longer distances. But again, it's more, it feels more like a manual thing to me. So again, the way I see it is if you've got a cadence sensor, it's more like an automatic. If you're using a torque sensor, it's better to be off in the right gear at the right time and putting enough pressure into that, into that torque sensor to move you along. It's that simple. Yeah, this is just a short video, just to explain to you what the differences were between cadence versus torque 
hub motor versus mid drive and to keep it as simple as possible because every video I've seen online seems to overcomplicate the issue time after time. Anyway, until the next time, laters. <laughs>